Player three, help us out. All right. Well, I decided that we should uh, discuss our feelings on microtransactions and games. Oh no. Yeah. So you know, it's either you can pay to win, like on some of the uh, MMOs out there. Uh, what was that one with like Neverwinter? Where you Never just, winter, you, you could just sit there and keep buying like this buying. high end box or whatever yeah. to, and keys or whatnot to. Uh, Try to unlock all the best armor and mounts and all that good stuff. And Assassin's Creed Unity. Uh, that, uh, that takes away all the fun of it, you know? I mean, because I, I feel that something like that should be an accomplishment, not, well, you can grind for 20 hours and get it, or you can spend 20 bucks in here. I have no problem with microtransactions if it's like, hey, here's a different colored skin for your guy. It's a dollar. I don't have a problem with that, but yeah, just like a but hey, there's a purple legendary sword that will that you can just completely gank somebody that's actually playing the game and not spending money if you give me five bucks. I mean, that's yeah, that's yeah, see, that, that's that's the to win. I, hate that. It. Yeah, I have a, I, I agree to a point. If it's a single player game, I don't have as much as problems pay to win. Yeah, because we all work. You don't 40, have 40, 50 hours a week. Well, and it's it's if fair. I could, if I could pay maybe six, seven bucks and, and get like my stats all the way up so I don't have to grind, that's fine. But if it's a PvP type game, it's super unfair to be able to just say, well, I have more money, I'm going to win. Yep. Exactly. And then, Especially free to play. The good thing about that is most kids that play those, most of the people we play are kids in <laughs> PvP, and we're adults with paychecks. <laughs> so if it does come down to it, we can pay to win and we can look a little less. <laughs> That is a good thing about being an adult and playing with kids on yeah. a video game. I'd add with kids because that would have sounded bad otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> on a video game. Right. But, but yeah. On a video game. And on a video game. At that same time, though, like like you were saying with the, with the single player game, it's not that big of a deal. No. I mean, yeah, I mean, you kind of cheat yourself out of it a little bit. But I mean, if that's how you want to go that route, go that route. But you know what? Like uh, NBA, what two K fifteen is yeah. a perfect example. It takes forever to grind to get your player decent. Or you could spend ten bucks and get his stats up, and now you're like the star, and you get to enjoy the story. You know, I mean, something like that. Yeah, I do. I pay it, but I wish I wish it wasn't there because I have that addictive personality where right. I'll start a mobile game and I'll drop thirty dollars on it if I like it, and then realize, wait a minute, I dropped thirty dollars on a game that has no real depth, and I'm pissed that I wasted thirty. Yeah, like like uh, the the farm bills and the. Oh, uh, so I don't, I, don't even, I don't even touch mobile games anymore because I'll you, drop money. Yeah, I've heard that, that, that game of war is, is that way. That, that game of war, yeah. you, it's it says it's free, but then I've read reviews. I've never played it, but I've read reviews on it, and people are pissed off because they're saying, "Well, it says it's free, but we have to pay to get this and that." And Dungeon and Keep was like that too. Everybody was really excited about Dungeon Keep coming back or Dungeon Keeper. Yeah, and they're like, "Oh, you know, they're making a mobile." Everybody was so excited because right. the original one was a great game, and then you get in there and it's free to play, but no, you. You're gonna have to wait 15 hours unless you want to spend a couple dollars and get these coins yep. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Like mobile, games, mobile games are, are just running the game industry, in my opinion. With, with that, especially with with the, those microtransactions. Microtransactions, and you know they put out these games. You're like, all right, this is gonna, and they have no real debt. None of them have any real debt when you actually get down to it. Yeah. And for me, that's a big yeah. thing with games. And, yeah. So I just stay away from mobile games now. So, well, on on my mobile, I usually try to get games that I've like played before, like Sonic CD and stuff like that. Stuff that's fun and you don't really need any extra content. Yeah. yeah you just run through and. Run and jump hole. That's all you do. I've never been a Sonic fan. I've tried. They're sorry. all the same to me. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Like if you played the first one, and you, then you pretty much played them all. Them all, minus the ones where Sonic's carrying around a gun and trying to kill a president. That was but, Shadow. You know, okay, Shadow the Hedgehog for Nintendo GameCube. Doesn't matter. It, where you know. he has to kill the president well, and he has to get the chaos in rooms to what, what would shoot a pair one. What would happen if he had microtransaction back in the day though? Like on like Mario Brothers or Mega Man or whatever, you're out of energy. You're at the last boss and you're out of weapon energy. Oh, you want to spend fifty cents and fill that energy back up? Yes, I do. <laughs> that could have been bad. Oh, man. Yeah, that would have been really well, bad. Well, now the good thing is we didn't have a, at that time we didn't have any money, so we wouldn't have to do it. Yeah. I mean, unless you've got your parents' credit card, and <laughs> next thing you know, you charge twenty thousand dollars <laughs> for Mega Man. When I was younger, I accidentally called a Nintendo helpline. Oh. How do you accidentally call? Okay, I called the Nintendo Helpline, not understanding the concept at like age nine. Or, no, it was like age 13, I think that back, because I was playing off. Was it like a line. sex hotline? No, no, no. Not, well, not as a sex, but they charge you like correct, a sex hotline. Correct. So I had stolen a, my parents' credit card, entered the information in, and charged like 50 bucks to figure out how to get through Long Long Ranch in Ocarina of Time. 
Well, see, by that time, there was this thing called the Wait a minute, isn't that where you just jumped the fence? Yes! <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is why you're wiped on the Kevin credit card, I guess. <laughs> Wait a minute, you, you spent 50 bucks, <laughs> I, this is blowing my mind, to figure out how to jump over a damn fence. You I didn't, I did I, I could understand if it was 50 bucks for a walkthrough of the water tower. Yeah, the water tower definitely, he, he didn't even make it that far. No. But not, not at that time. Jump the fence with the horse, like it tells you in the game. I, you know what? And that also, that's what the, the Nintendo magazine is for. Nintendo I didn't Power, get yes. Nintendo Power, okay? Where's the library? I don't know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, just, just, you know what? Sometimes you make bad decisions. First it's Nickelodeon, then it's 7-Up, and now he doesn't know how to get out of the fence in... Operating time. Hey, did, did they help We're going to learn you, boy. The helpful, you go, the helpful customer service lady from India helped me. You were the short bus, didn't you? <laughs> I'm just messing. Now, I do know for a fact that Lucas didn't ride a short bus. I wasn't special ed. <laughs> There's nothing I, wrong I with that. I think we all were. <laughs> Probably. <laughs>